My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you to the celebration of Easter Sunday. We celebrate the victory of Christ, our Savior, Jesus who has conquered death and has come back to life. The one who was rejected, the stone which the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is God's own making. We rejoice. This is a day of rejoicing. And as we shall hear in the readings of today's liturgy, Peter, speaking on behalf of his friends, speaks about a transformation that they have all gone through. He is aware of the shock that fell on them on Good Friday, that time when out of human weakness, uh, deserted, they deserted their, fr their friend Jesus. But now, when he is risen, they are also risen. They are now we uh, witnesses of that what God has done. They are witnesses of the resurrection, witnesses of new life. God raises up. God raises us where we are stuck in old patterns. Let us accept this as God's own work to renew us. And in the gospel, when we hear the discovery of the empty tomb, let us contemplate God's clear manifestation and a declaration that death, sin, have no power over us. God, with his love, with his truth, is always victorious. He never left his son to be caught up in the tomb. He raised him from the dead. And the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead has been given to us so that we don't remain in the tombs of our past. My dear friends, the tombs have been laid open. Jesus is alive. You are alive. Have now hear the, the, the voice of the, of the Lord asking you, raise up, come out of the tomb of your disappointment, come out of the tomb of your failure. It is now time for the new life.